everyone, welcome to Mother Russia and Punch Club. So last episode we finally got our champions card, but we paid too great a price for it. A price which still hurts to this day. All because we got this stupid broken leg and I don't know why we got a broken leg. I'm, I'm just full of bitterness and anger here. So yes, we're doing a lot of training so that we are prepared to fight all the people who Ivan will tell us to go against. Because we need to train up. We need to be powerful. We need to be ready. Not to mention, this place is actually really good training if you've got an agility build like I do. So our broken leg is almost done. That's nice. Why couldn't that have been fixed beforehand? Can I not even do anything less? Like, can I not pull it along for stamina? I don't know. I hope Adrian's feeding her cat at least. Uh, let's. Can I also not do anything with that? Those guys, man, they are trying their hardest to get that damn bear. But bears in Russia are not to be fucked with, apparently. Take that for what you will. It's nice to have a bit of a change of scenery. And we're about to get hungry. This refills every day, it seems, so I don't have to worry about wasting it. Because it's not my food, it's his! So drink to your heart's content, Ivan. I'm gonna eat all your food. We're gonna train up until we have this at 14 and then we'll go see who's got, uh, hey, he has us fighting this time. Okay, we don't quite have it at 14. Ready? Your second opponent's a friend of mine. He's not even a fighter, he's a philosopher. Really? Okay, so ignore stamina based protection. That's a little unfortunate. Cry high kick. And Mimic deals damage back to him. Okay. That's good heart. So, so far I fought a poet and a philosopher. I'm not sure how to feel about this. He's dealing a lot of damage and it's actually hurting a fair bit. Like, is that eight both of us? I don't honestly know. Didn't look like I took damage. No, it just says it's very far over me. Oh well, we'll just keep fighting in the bitter cold! Toughen ourselves up in Mother Russia! We will take on everyone! Avenge our father! Avenge dear Roy! We will win! You've earned my respect! Now can you tell me everything you know about my father and the medallion? Yes, I can. Here's what you need to know about your father. Your father was a wise man, but he loved you and your brother too much. I think his love cost him his life. Really? We swore to protect the medallion. We all knew of its power. Your father decided it'd be a good idea to use it. He loved you and your brother. He decided to split the medallion into two halves. I somehow knew he was going to say that. Just because of that. And gave each of you one half. But we knew that it was an awful idea. You just cannot give a powerful medallion to children. We don't even know if the split medallion will work. We have to take the medallion from you. Over my dead body. When my son grew, uh, sons grow up, they will be true heroes. John was accused of killing your father. The police found his fingerprints on the gun. But I'm sure he's innocent. Mick took the medallion. I decided to leave the punch club and move to the far side of the world. Maybe my father had enemies. Maybe someone wanted to imitate the medallion. He had no enemies, and I'm sure no one knows about the medallion outside the punch club. I hope my story helps you find the killer of your father, though. 
but you still need to beat Azangief. I heard he's as strong as a bear. So the last test for you should be a fight with a real bear. If you're victorious, you have a chance. I'm I'm sorry, did you just say you want me to fight a bear? <laughs> he's kidding, right? He's not talking about that bear over there, right? Right? He's totally serious, isn't he? Oh fuck. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess we're gonna fight a bear. We need to make sure we are very strong and very agile. No bear crawl for me. So I guess I'm gonna chop all the wood. I don't know, I mean, it was a bit silly of him to say, take a valuable ancient object and split it in half because he loves both his sons. But, you know, maybe he could have kept it or given it to someone who didn't have two kids. That might have been a smarter idea. But I don't say love makes you weak. I think it makes you stronger, personally. Because, like, if you have nothing to fight, no one or nothing to fight for, then, you know, you always put yourself at risk. But if you have something that you'll defend to the death with your very life, then how will that make you weak? If anything, it'll make you more powerful. Because you know that you can't afford to die. I don't know, man. This is getting a bit too philosophical for Punch Club. I forgot to set my timer, because I'm smart. Just set this for 15 minutes. Give or take. That should be fine. I guess by the end of this episode, we're fighting a bear. Maybe that one. Got to train up. I would really like to play with the bunny because I miss my cat and Adrian. But you know, it's good to be off the steroids for a bit. Punch, 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 punch. I don't really need to focus on strength, it's just kind of a byproduct. I want to get this up to 15. Can I even do that? It feels like the decay happens far too fast for that to work. Mind you, I suppose we're not going to get mugged while we're here. In theory. It's a nice theory. A game theory. Anyway. Still taking a while. it's nice to have peace and quiet. Can I have one of these at home? Like, this gym seems better equipped for my build than the one at home does. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, fine, fine. Have some borscht. Wow. He's getting more food in. than I'm actually eating. I mean, hell, if that's what he wants to do, then go for it. Oh, no. Doing the wrong one. I should be doing the axe. I will do the axe. Go on, ask me a question, I dare you. Ask me if I'm going to fight a bear today. The answer is yes. Eventually. There's the decay. I see what that Frank guy meant, but you know, it's not worth your while trying to focus because I can barely keep these ones up. I have no time to focus on strength, man. Maybe we'll take care of that bear and you know, people can have a nice peaceful life. <laughs> I'm not even looking at this guy. I'm just trying to count how many hunters they've sent after that one bear. <laughs> like, is that a mom bear? Is that why she's so pissed? Oh, there goes another one. I'm sure he'll be fine. 
He can handle it. He couldn't handle it. Yep, we got it, right. Nom nom. Ivan, I wanna go fight a bear now. Okay, if you think you're ready. I think I hear a bear roaring. <laughs> I'm actually fighting a bear, and his name is Teddy. He's so cute. Okay, I don't want him to hit me. I don't have blocking, that's fine. Let's try it. I actually know what's the one that affects stamina that I have. Stamina based protection. No, he's not really got a stamina based protection. That's fine. We're, we're okay. Although he has die hard, so we can gain 30% of his pool. Punch the bear! You can tell it's a Russian bear because he has a hat. I can't believe I'm actually fighting a fucking bear. I mean, I know there's a way of the bear in the game, but this is a little ridiculous, <laughs> if you ask me. I keep fighting the bear! In Mother Russia, a bear beat you in boxing match. Except this time, because I am not Russian. I am American in this game. I believe I am. Hey, stop trying to fight me, that's cheating. Bad bear, bad, bad. Oh, there's Die Hard in effect. Alright, we beat up the bear. You dealt with that small bear. He was huge and scary. Scary? You should see my ex-wife. <laughs> ex-wife jokes. Seriously though, your next fight will be against Zangief. Make sure you're ready. Okay. Should I be scared? I think I should be scared. I should get these up more. Like, try and train these up more. But I'm fighting Zangief already? Sheesh. Well, heave ho. So, but I want this up to 15, this up to 10, hopefully. Although I'd like this up to 16, maybe. That'd be more useful for me. Yep. Well, that's a pipe dream right there. Hello, bear. Are you the same bear that I beat up? That's okay, I don't have a gun. They do, so you can bite them. <sighs> In this game, you get to fight crocodiles and bears. Do you need another reason to buy it? No? Then go buy it. Go buy it now. I am not being endorsed by the people who made Punch Club. Although, if you guys want to, you could. I wouldn't exactly complain right now. Okay, that's up to Oh, I was gonna say that is up to 10, but it's not. The 10 is a lie. back inside and get some food. Let's go now. Where does he sleep? I don't think he sleeps. I think he just sits there and drinks vodka all day. Which is good for some. I guess. Try beating Zangief today, or should I stick to when I got like 60? I think I should wait till I actually have that at 60. Alright, we'll go punch the tree. I mean, we could work and get strength up to 5, but I don't really need to. What I do need this is 16. That would make me feel so much better.
my fists are furious and they hunger for bear. And since I already beat a bear, I might as well go beat a fake bear. I don't know what causes the like larger ones, like if you have if you've done something for a certain amount of time then it gives you an extra boost or extra sap. I don't know. Alright, we need to go and actually get some energy. I feel that's all I'm doing in this episode is just training, but I fought a bear! Surely that should be enough entertainment for you! Getting this up to 16. I'm fighting here. Every little counts. Come on. And the key. Yep, there it goes. Getting there, I think. And then, as soon as that starts, yep. Pull yourself up, Alice. Come on. I know you're still in denial over Royd's death, but. We'll avenge him. We'll get the medallion back. It's fine. Mind you, we're probably only gonna get like half a medallion back. I bet you. Where is our brother anyway? Don't we have one of those? We should probably find him. I bet you he has the other half. Punch, 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 punch. Punch, 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 punch. Everybody join the punch club! Go use the thingy! This up to 16. I need it there. Ah, oh, bitch, bitch, wine, wine. Alright, pull yourself up get there today. We're gonna get there, I believe it. Come on. Yeah. That'll do. Ivan! I'm ready! Okay, if you think you are ready. Best of luck. I believe in you. Holy crap! Okay, so he has a shirt. A blocking is less effective. He's got die hard, shining knight. Less damage, the more stamina he's got. Boxing... Right, we still don't want him to hit us. I think we should be okay. Let's try it. I mean, once that happens, we'll get to see Roy again sometime soon, right? Oh, it's, please don't let him hit. Come on, Alice. That's right, come on. Oh, oh. Can't touch this. Ow. I really gotta stop saying that every time they do the game is like, I'm going to prove you wrong, and it does. But hey, we're in a professional ring, isn't this awesome? We are in a pit. The pit of pain. Oh, Alice, come on, stop letting him hit you. He's gonna knock me out. He's got way more energy than I do. Ow. 
Okay, I think we're about to lose this fight. Ow. I lost. Okay, that's fine. Maybe next time you won't underestimate your points. I didn't underestimate them! Alright, well, let's get my kick dropper. Or. Yeah, let's get this actually. Control Fury. I think we need to lock this, honestly. I mean, I don't want to. Alright, well, let's get the kick drop. And I guess we're just gonna try and heal ourselves. Alright, let's go and get this back up. Nah. So maybe we need to go up higher. Either that or we need to grind to get a lot more points. Which I'm not really seeing how we're gonna do that because there's only one source of fighting to get skill points and it's Zangief. So yeah. All I have to do is believe in myself. I know it. We'll get there. We will get there, don't you worry guys. Maybe we get this up to 11? Probably not the answer. I right, switch. I mean, I could work on my strength a little, but I don't really want to do that. Now I think kick dropping's gonna help us a little. And we should wait till we're back to full health anyway. I right, pull up. I could probably speed this up and that would make it much more entertaining. But no. And I'm just thinking of the other people whose games of Punch Club I watch. I actually think I've finally gotten ahead of them. <laughs> Which is weird because they've been playing the game a lot longer than I have. I don't know. Either that or I accidentally fell asleep at one point and... I am now behind. We'll be fine. Energy all the way up. Perotsky. That actually sounds quite delicious, I must admit. We need our. We need to be harder to hit. And we need to be able to withstand more punishment. This could be a long slog, but I bet you we can beat him. I mean, sure, he's big and ugly and he looks vaguely like a bear, but, you know. I'm small and wiry and tougher. And my legs do so much damage. I mean, look at them. Look at these legs, so muscly. I fought a bear. If I can fight a bear, I can fight him. So I think as we go into day 136, we're going to call it for this episode of Punch Club. So as always, if you enjoyed, please let me know by liking or commenting on the video. And subscribe if you haven't to see more episodes. Till next time, I've been Wade for Sale. It's been Alice and Punch Club. And I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye!